average man eats around 2,500 calories a day, sumo wrestlers consume up to 10,000. Because the heavier you are in sumo, the harder it is to take you down. For years, doctors wondered why sumo wrestlers, who stay active, rarely suffer from conditions triggered by obesity. The answer lies in where they store their fat, safely underneath their skin, instead of in the abdomen or chest, packed around internal organs. So if you do a scan of an active sumo wrestler, a CT scan or an MRI scan, you'll see all that fat, but it's on the outside. It's on the buttocks and thighs, it's on the outside of the abdomen. So even though they have body fat, they don't contain a lot of fat in those deleterious places such as the liver, around the heart, around the pancreas, and even around the kidneys. So they're metabolically healthy. And the key reason is that sumo wrestlers exercise rigorously, up to seven hours a day. When we exercise, our fat releases a hormone called adiponectin. And adiponectin actually helps guide fats in the blood into safe deposits of fat. So they'll guide it into subcutaneous fat right under the skin. Interestingly, when sumo wrestlers come off of their exercise regime, they get metabolically unhealthy very quickly.